It's a time of change at the state capitol. Lawmakers began their 140 day legislative session today after a close election. Biggest news today was the Texas House selecting a new leader, Angleton Republican Dennis Bonin, who promises to form a bipartisan coalition. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen spoke with him one on one today. Well, Robert and Sydney, remember all that controversy and turmoil from a year and a half ago? How parts of the state government almost stopped operating because lawmakers couldn't agree on bathroom regulations and a cap on property taxes? Well, this session had a much softer beginning in part because of that November election and because of the selection of Dennis Bonin as Speaker of the House. I think it's accurate and that I'm tough, I'm passionate. I love the Texas House. Dennis Bonin was formed by the Texas legislature. First elected in his mid-20s, he spent half his life in the House. He follows San Antonio Republican Joe Strauss, who chose not to run for re-election after a bruising battle over bathroom regulations with the movement conservative leader of the Texas Senate, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Bonin was a key lieutenant for Strauss, but the two men are different. He's a very calmer, quieter leader. Mm -hmm. um, I have Greek blood in me and my mother gives me great passion. The difference in style is also a difference in the chambers. The Senate has 31 districts with 800,000 people each, more in touch with statewide and national politics. The House, on the other hand, has 150 smaller districts with 160,000 people each. There, large local businesses, city governments, and school districts have more sway. And changing the outdated way Texas pays for schools is the number one priority for Bonin. Even imprinting that message onto the House styrofoam cups the members use. We show up here to get solutions. We don't show up here to game each other out for the next election cycle. We have 140 days every other year and we better go to work, we better respect each other, and we better solve the problems or we probably won't come back. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick was not present during this first day of the session. He's reported to be in Washington, D.C., meeting with the White House. However, Patrick Bonin and Governor Abbott have a breakfast scheduled for tomorrow morning. Those breakfasts ended last year when the tensions rose.